The exploration of space has offered science some incredible new discoveries. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at discoveries made in space. The Mysterious Space Roar Many people have heard it said that sound cannot travel in space. This is true, when humans enter space it's an entirely silent place. This is because space operates like a vacuum, meaning there's no air for sound waves to travel on. Because the human ear relies on mechanical waves, namely sound waves, in order to hear, space appears to be silent to the human listener. However, space isn't as quiet as we might have previously believed. A discovery made in 2006 baffles scientists to this day, simply because it changed what science knew about sound in space. In 2006, NASA attached a program called Absolute Radiometer for Cosmology, Astrophysics and Diffuse Emission, also known as Arcade, to a large balloon and sent it to space. Arcade measures radiation through radio waves, and NASA was hoping to learn more on radiation and heat emission. NASA was predicting to learn more specifically regarding the radio waves of some of the oldest stars and what they emit through Arcade. Interestingly, the scientists weren't really expecting to get much of use from Arcade, but instead, it picked up on radio waves that were six times stronger than anyone had predicted was plausible. Radio waves are signals that have been translated into vibrations, which create sound. The radio waves themselves weren't the mystery, as radio waves aren't a new discovery. What baffled scientists was that Arcade picked up on such a high volume of radio waves. Their vibrations created an incredibly loud roar. This sound has now been accurately named the Space Roar. The space roar remains a mystery in astrophysics because scientists fail to understand where the sound is coming from or what's causing it. Some scientists believe that the space roar comes from outside of our galaxy. This is because all of the radio waves from within our galaxy combined aren't strong enough to create the intensity of the space roar. Arcade also only searched about 7% of the sky. This means there's only a limited amount of space that could have been responsible for the space roar which makes the phenomenon even more intriguing. There remain no definite theories on what could be causing the space roar. However, solving the mystery of the space roar would likely give new insight into ancient parts of the universe, because radio waves can be used to measure the age and distance of the stars. This could connect us to a better understanding of how the universe itself began, simply by understanding where the radio waves are coming from. The space roar isn't just a new interesting science fact, it's actually part of a much larger exploration into understanding the universe as a whole. The Big Crunch Mystery A well-known theory regarding how the universe came to be is the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory argues that about 15 billion years ago, all known matter and energy was held in a single point, known as singularity. This point of singularity began to expand over 300,000 years, until it was no longer a single point. Instead, everything spread out, expanding even further. Energy began to gather and form heat and matter, which eventually shaped stars, galaxies, and even planets. From there, forms of life came into being. The Big Bang Theory rests on the idea that everything that now exists came from one single point and this is mostly credited to an expanding universe. Building off of the Big Bang Theory is another popular theory about how the universe will come to an end. This theory is known as the Big Crunch, and it states that just as our universe began from a single origin point, it will end in the same manner. The Big Crunch theory argues that the universe will continue to expand until it completely stops. From there, the gravitational pull of the stars will begin to pull the universe in, reversing the expansion. The theory states the universe will shrink and shrink until it collapses, or crunches, into itself. The reason many scientists believe the theory could be accurate is that it follows well from the Big Bang Theory. If gravity began to pull the universe together like the theory states, galaxies and stars would merge. This would cause a great, intense heat and energy to become localised, 
causing stars to explode. Exploded stars create black holes, which begin to absorb everything around them. As the universe continued to shrink into itself, more black holes would form. Eventually, everything would be pulled into one massive black hole, returning the universe to a point of singularity. However, an issue with the Big Crunch theory is it would require the universe to eventually stop expanding, allowing gravitational pull to take over. Some scientists argue it's more likely the universe could instead continue to expand indefinitely, in which case, gravity wouldn't have the same effect as the Big Crunch predicts. This would rule out the possibility of everything collapsing within itself, suggesting that perhaps the universe will end in a different manner. So as long as we remain unsure of the state of the universe expanding, it will remain difficult to truly back up one theory or another. Clearly, the fate of the universe remains a mystery, at least until some incredible leaps in physics are made. While there is evidence in favour of both the Big Bang and the Big Crunch, they remain just theories. If the Big Bang is indeed how it all began, it seems possible the Big Crunch could be how it all ends. However, scientists predict this won't happen for billions of years to come. Until then, it's incredibly fascinating to learn more about what it takes for the universe to begin and for it to end. The Big Crunch offers an interesting look at what might be considered for the fate of our universe. Could life exist on Kepler-452b? Kepler-452b is an exoplanet that's been coined as Earth's cousin because of its similarity to Earth. It was first discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope. NASA announced the discovery in July of 2015. For many years, the conversation of finding another planet capable of supporting life has always been relevant. Kepler-452b has a mass of five Earths, so it's far heavier and denser than Earth. NASA has confirmed that due to the larger size of Kepler-452b, the gravitational pull Kepler-452b has is also stronger than Earth's. It's been predicted the surface is either rocky or icy and gaseous. Kepler-452b orbits a sun-like star, similar to the way Earth orbits our sun. The main issue confronting the exploration and further discovery of the planet is that it's incredibly far from Earth. It's about 1,400 light years away, meaning it would take a spacecraft approximately 26 million years to reach. This is a massive deterrent in learning more about the planet, because we currently lack the transportation to get there. Unfortunately, this also means that current telescopes are very limited in their ability to determine more about the atmosphere or the composition on the surface of Kepler-452b. It's been predicted that it could possibly sustain life due to its supposed similarities to Earth. NASA has stated one of the main things a planet must have to support life is the ability for water to form on the surface of the planet. Scientists are still unsure whether Kepler-452b has water on its surface, but there is a strong possibility. It's also predicted that the planet receives about 10% more solar energy than Earth. Because of this, a predicted issue facing the planet is that it could become a victim of an extreme greenhouse effect, where it receives too much energy from its sun source. This issue is similar to that of Venus, wherein the greenhouse effect could cause surface water to dissipate at a rapid rate. However, scientists argue this won't happen for another 500 million years, and thus doesn't have much impact on whether life currently exists or could exist on the planet. We currently have little to no actual information on whether life already exists here, but it's known to be the most Earth-like planet discovered so far. Its distance from Earth presents a considerable challenge, as it prevents the ability for humans to actually reach the planet to learn more about its life-sustaining abilities. However, many scientists believe it to be possible, and that Kepler-452b is the most likely candidate to support life. The existence of the planet does however instill new hope into the search for extraterrestrial life, because it proves there are more planets beside Earth that have the ability to support life. It also shows the number of life-sustaining planets is likely higher than previously predicted, and perhaps there are some closer and easier to access. The mystery of Kepler-452b remains a mystery, but it does give better insight and understanding into what other life could be out there for us to discover. 
While we can't answer the question of life on another planet, we've at least learned there are other planets with the potential to support life. Clearly, there's plenty more to learn about our universe. These mysteries prove that every piece of new information we gain about space brings us closer to understanding how it all began, and what else could be out there. So what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.